Good morning, my beauties. How's it going? It's your boy Aiden. We are here at the resort. After nine months, I am finally back. I didn't think I'd be back this early into my move in, you know? So, out of nowhere, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna get an annual pass, but thankfully, my mom and dad, being the sweet, kind souls they are, decided to get me one themselves. So, mom, dad, if you're watching, thank you for that. You really made a kid's day. So, I gotta go over to one of the ticket booths, get my annual pass, and then we can go in and have some fun. Now, I know most people are gonna head over to Islands of Adventure to go on Velocicoaster, but I have not been on the Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket in like five years now. It's been that long. So, I'm gonna head into Universal Studios, go on that, and then do whatever else I wanna do. Now, like I said earlier, I have to retrieve my annual pass after I purchase it, so I gotta wait in this line. At guest services, I say this will probably take at least 45 minutes. Much later. Much, much later. Oh, you thought I would be out of the line by now? You thought I'd be in the park going on some rides? No. We've literally been in this line for over a freaking hour. Like, so far, not so good. A few inches later. Alrighty. Meet the newest member of the Universal Annual Pass Holder family. Oh my gosh. All right. You know what? I think that hour wait was worth it. Because the thing is, I'm the biggest glutton for punishment. I would have waited three hours if I had to. But let's go in, have some fun, shall we? Hello. Hello. Woo. Can you scan your finger right there, please? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Have a nice day. Thanks. Ah. All right. So y'all can tell. It's been a while. It really has. I know to some nine months means absolutely jack, but for me, that's like nine years. So, oh, there's so much to do. It's so nice out today, albeit quite hot. That's all right. We're gonna go on the Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. It says it's like a 65 minute wait, but I don't care. I've not been on that in like five years. So, it's, um, you can tell, like I'm just exhausted from waiting in that line for over an hour. That was ridiculous, but let's go have some fun. Now, donut, donut, well yeah, that kind of makes sense, there's a donut store. Donut get me wrong. Today is not a quiet day like it was last September. Like, let's, let's just do a little throwback. Well, we are about an hour, hour and a half in, and I am really, really enjoying myself. The park is completely dead. Well, mind you, it is the middle of the week, but I'm really, really enjoying myself, and I'm glad I got the opportunity to come out here. Yeah, uh, that day, it was dead. Today, it is pretty much packed. And mind you, it is the middle of, well, sort of the middle. Well, no, we'll say this is the beginning of the summer. All right, but honestly, I don't care how heavy the crowds are. I just, I just wanna go on some rides, man. Like, I can come here for a year now. It's just, it's nuts. I'm, I'm excited, I really am. Oh my God. Like, bro, look at that. Like, jeez, dude. Oh my gosh. They're gonna go down? I'm waiting. Oh, there they go. Oh my god. Forgive the lighting, but this is unfortunately the part where I have to say bye bye because can't take anything on the ride. Not even cell phones, I don't think so. Uh... Hi. Well, <laughs> that was an experience. Uh, I think, yeah, that, that was worth the five year wait. <laughs> I was I was literally laughing the entire time like that's how happy I was to go on that again, but oh jeez, it's 105 already All right, we got seven hours till park closing. I don't know what all I want to do like that was the first thing I wanted to do actually you know what I gotta find a restroom. I don't know where I'd find one at I will say it is definitely hot and I will say when it is hot in Central Florida you bring water I have some in my bag, but I'm too lazy to get it out right now. 20 minutes later. <sighs> Feel much better. So, again, I don't know what all I want to do. Like, I want to, I did Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Could go on the mummy. Let's go towards the mummy. Um, you know what? I think from now on, when I come here, I'm just gonna go bagless and just bring the G7X because having to pay, sure it's only $2, but having to pay for a locker every time I go on a roller coaster, it's, it's gonna make me go broke one day. Curse! It's real! This whole place is a trap! He's after your soul! 
your souls. I shall rule for all eternity. Alright, I think I can safely say that was worth the 65 minute wait. Oh my gosh, it's definitely nice to be in the air conditioning for a good while. Alright, I want to go on Simpsons ride. I know that's not everyone's favorite, but I actually kind of enjoy it just because I love the Simpsons as much as the next guy. So we're going to do that, then I think maybe head over to Islands of Adventure, maybe find something to eat because I am getting a little bit hungry, but that's kind of my fault because I haven't had anything to eat since like 6 a.m. Oh man, that did not feel good. I mean, I enjoyed the ride, but I got a massive headache now. I need to get something to eat before my head literally freaking explodes. But I want to wait till I get over to Islands because at the end of the day, they just have a much better food selection, you know what I mean? So I think we're going to go to Diagon Alley, maybe get some butter beer if I can find some there, and then head over to Islands. So I guess someone just adopted one of these pygmy puffs. I don't know what's so special about these. I think Luna talked about them in the books. Pretty sure she did. Oh my gosh. See, this stuff just reminds me of the Half-Blood Prince. My friend William actually bought me this stuff last December, the puking pastels. They're like green apple and grape, just hard candy. They're really good. Check it out, there's hashtag. <laughs> Looking good, buddy. Yo, remember how I said last time that I wanted to go to that Menchie's place up there for some frozen yogurt? Because I used to work at a frozen yogurt shop back in the day, you know what I mean? They were closed last time I was here, so I would hope they're open if they are. By the time I'm done at Islands of Adventure, I might have to get some frozen yogurt. All right, the adventure begins. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a fun adventure. Islands of Adventure is my favorite Universal Park. I love this place so much. But I gotta find something to eat. Oh snap, I see Funko Pops. Oh no. Oh no, they found my weakness. Universal's found my weakness. Oh my gosh. Wow, they have a lot. They have a lot of nice pop figures. Oh my gosh. Barista dead. What? How have I not? I've never seen these ones. I have never seen these. Wow. Oh my gosh, they have the Light Fury from How to Train Your Dragon. That is really cute. And check this, right above me is the Incredible Hulk. Probably my, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a tie between this and Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Like, I love Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket because of the music you can play, and I love this because it's a multiple inversion coaster. Oh yeah, and I also can't film on this one, so bye! All right, hope was fun. Battery's about to die. We made our way into Cafe 4. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's literally just Fantastic Four Cafe, duh. But I need something to eat. I have not had food in almost 12 hours, that's sad. So I definitely want to get something before I go on Velocicoaster because if I do not eat anything before then, I will probably puke. A few moments later. 
All right, so here's my somewhat eaten pizza. I'm not gonna give a full review on it, because I mean, come on, it's just freaking pizza. All right, food's gone. All right, since I'm a very honest man, I'll be honest with you guys, that's probably some of the best theme park pizza I've ever had. Um, I mean, really all that was just two pieces of pizza, just morphed together, if you will. Well, I mean, I mean that's kind of the whole thing with Marvel and morphing and whatnot, but... Well, I just want to go on Velocicoaster, but hopefully after that I can go to Hogsmeade and do some more stuff. Making our way towards Jurassic Park. Oh my gosh. I, I'm getting so excited about Velocicoaster. I've been wanting to go on it ever since they announced it. Oh my gosh. It's so nice to have another roller coaster here. That's the one thing I will say. Universal definitely has it down when it comes to roller coasters. But at the same time, Universal is definitely geared more towards like teens, young adults, you know, compared to Disney. I mean, look, you can literally see it right here. Like, that's nuts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, well they said walkers are farther inside the attraction, so I guess I can take y'all along with me for a bit. Look at how freaking close we are to the track. Jesus Christ, dude. It's freaking nuts. Look at this, look at this. know about when it comes to new rides is that they will break down for the first couple months of operation that's just that's just how it's gonna be but the thing is I would exit the line but we are just way too far in to do that I mean I don't know how long this could take it could take a few minutes a few hours even but I mean if we're in here past park close and they should still honor and just let us go on I can only assume that we're Hopefully close to the locker, so it's like, this is like the first time I've actually been able to film a full queue of the ride. Yeah, you know what, I'm actually not against this. At first I thought this was gonna be kind of fishy, it's like, okay, how would you be able to retrieve your stuff after the ride, but I'm kind of all for it. Whoa! Oh, she's the camera. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she definitely sees my camera. Two hours later. All right. I have a lot to say. Everything is positive, but oh my gosh, literally, like I was in line for at least an hour and a half, but I don't even care. This is definitely my new favorite roller coaster at Universal. Oh my gosh, it is deceptively fast. Is that deceptively, deceptively? I don't know the freaking term, but still, that ride is freaking fast. And I love that. I love fast. So, yeah, I think, yeah, there's just Hagrid's and maybe Flight of the Hippogriff, and I've been on every roller coaster at Universal in one day. All right, we're now making our way into Hogsmeade. Hoping to get a butterbeer because I definitely need something to freaking drink. See what I mean by narrow walkways? Like. Thank you, you very much. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. All right. It literally just tastes like the creamy stuff. Yeah, that sounded weird. <laughs> oh, it's so good, bruh. Holy frick balls, that is so good. All right, well, obviously I have no butterbeer in my hands, which means that the butterbeer is gone. So I think we're gonna call that a day here at Universal Orlando. Thing is, I'm not too upset because I have an annual pass. I can literally come here anytime within the course of a year. I'll be at there on block out days for Volcano Bay, but that's no biggie. Because in fact, I'm actually going there tomorrow, so make sure to subscribe for that. Um, so I do want to see how much that frozen yogurt place is. It's relatively cheap. I know I just had that butter beer, but oh my gosh. I've not had frozen yogurt since I last worked at the frozen yogurt place, which was almost three years ago. Bye bye Islands of Adventure, whose logo is covered up by the freaking trees. Now in all seriousness, this is the reason why I want to leave before park closing. Because while I don't have to take I-4 to get home, I worry that there's going to be traffic going the way that I have to go. Yeah, so as we start to walk out of Universal, you'll start to see just how crowded it really is. Thankfully, I did get prime parking, which, yeah, it was $50, but 
Hopefully, with where I show you where I parked, you'll understand why I paid that. Just then. Actually, before I head out, I need to go over to the Globe and get a thumbnail. Because my travel day vlog, I didn't really get a thumbnail, so I do not want to screw that up this time. There's literally like so many people just trying to take a picture with the globe, but I know exactly what I want to do. I just want to like put my hand up or something. Just do like some kind of like generic hand gesture or whatever. Well, let's go around and see. This could be a good shot maybe. No, I don't really know. Mm, we'll find a good angle. I don't I don't want to have to go all the way down there because that's where the mist is. I don't want to get it all over the camera. Like, could I get a good thumbnail, maybe? Right Hang on. I don't know if that was good enough, but oh well, we're gonna take it. If it looks terrible, I'll just edit it in Photoshop. And you know, it's not just the voice that tells you how monotone I am, it's also the eyes. Okay, if you didn't think I was monotone enough, just look at my eyes. Like, it's just like, like most of the time I'm just like, I'm like Squidward. You know what, fellow videographers, vloggers, whatever you want to call yourselves, if you ever had to like record yourself doing a thumbnail and then screen cap it later on, do that whole process, make sure you check the clip first before you decide to move along about your day. Because I literally just checked the clip and I'm not even looking into the lens. Like, I'm literally, you know what? Put the screen away, you doofus. There, see, all you have to look at now is the lens. Oh, and check this out. Perfect timing, too. See, it's just coming about. All right, hang on a second. All right, I gotta make sure. All right, I gotta make sure. Come on. You know what? If you really want to commit yourself to YouTube, you will keep trying with the thumbnail until you get it right. And I will get this thumbnail right. Alright. Well, we say goodbye to Universal Orlando Resort. That's alright, I'll be back tomorrow for Volcano Bay, that is. And now the security checkpoint is literally dead. This place is packed this morning like it was ridiculous so we are in et 260. so yeah the park doesn't close for a little over 20 minutes and there's already a frick ton of people leaving so i feel kind of lucky that i'm leaving right now instead of after park closing so oh my gosh that'd be awful all right let's see i'm literally the only one i'm pretty much the only one going down to where it's 261 through 266 and my car is right over there too let's get a nice front view of it of the gorgeous the precious, the beautiful. Oh my gosh. Ain't she a beaut. Oh yeah, and I guess for prime parking, they put a cute little piece of a uh, pink paper on your windshield. I don't know why. I think that's kind of weird. I know Disney does something like that too, but I don't know. All right, my beauties. Oh, I never showed you guys this too. So you see this right here? You touch it, that's it. Just a little touch, touch. Ain't that nice? Now it is time to play the game where Aiden says he's going to speed home but instead drives as slow and defensively as possible because he's from Ohio and he is in Florida. So while I do that, hope you enjoyed yourselves. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on my notifications right down below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Love you all so much. Take it easy and stay beautiful, my friends.